was addicted to everything under the sun. I'll be 75 years old, still doing meth. I don't care. I didn't care. I didn't care. I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. You know, the drugs, the fast cars, the women, the pornography, the sex, the violence. I was super violent. My answer to every situation that came up was punching somebody in the face. That's how I dealt with everything. I had to be the best. I always had to drink the most. I always had to do the most drugs. I always had to stay up the most nights in a row. Uh, you know, and along with that just came all, all of the, all the pitfalls of alcohol and marijuana. I really don't know what it was I was looking for, but I know I was looking for something because I was trying everything, doing everything. I wasn't happy with myself, so I was trying to, you know, self-medicate. I was trying to escape my reality. On the outside, everyone thought, you know, I was I had it going on. Everyone, you know, I was the envy of all my friends. But on the inside, lost, completely lost. Didn't matter how much drugs I did, I always wanted more. That stuff wore off. You know, it'd be cool for a minute, but then it would wear off, and you'd be searching for something else again. And the hole in my heart was still there. It's probably selling a half a pound of meth a week, and a gram is enough to get a meth addict high for at least a day or two. So I was putting that out constantly, all the time. Mailing uh, five pounds of weed to Texas every couple of weeks, you know, to supplement my income. I went to county jail a lot, a lot of time building up. I probably did three or four years worth of county time just for drugs, drunk driving, uh, possession of meth. So I went th uh, three years the first time, did 18 months to the day, went to San Quentin, which was quite the eye opener, just completely hardened. And it was a hard stone. I didn't care about anybody except myself. I mean, all the poison I pushed out on the street, I never ever thought for a minute that I could be forgiven. You know, I certainly believed there was a God. I just didn't think that I was worthy of his love. You know, it seemed like it made sense that there was a God. I just didn't think he wanted anything to do with me. I was just crying. I just felt all of the weight, all these chains coming off me, all the weight off my shoulders, all, all those years of searching for something. I just felt like, I just felt like I was being washed clean. I just knew something had shifted. Something was different. And it was amazing and super, super scary at the same time. I had no idea what was going on. The Holy Spirit was just rushing through me, all through me. And uh, it changed me, completely changed me. Changed me from, changed my heart immediately. And after that, I didn't, I didn't want anything else to do with it. I still had drugs, I still had weed, we still had alcohol, and I didn't want nothing to do with it after that. You know, now, now I'm completely fulfilled, happier than I've ever been. That is what I've been looking for all my life, the love of Jesus. And I haven't, I haven't craved drugs or drinking or alcohol or anything since. You know, it completely, 100%, completely changed me from the inside out. The only thing that enters my mind about drugs is getting that guy on the corner off of him and getting him into treatment. You know, I, I see these people on the, on the free off ramps or on the street corners with the cardboard and I am drawn to them every single time. I'm super drawn to them. And I think that's part of the Lord's plan for me. I think, you know, that's probably my purpose. He loves each and every one of us so much. There's, doesn't matter what we've done in the past, he does not care. Uh, he loves us and he will love us right where we are. And he loves us just the way we are. Of course, he refuses to leave us that way, but he will come in just the way you are. You don't have to like clean up your sins to come to God. I was such a sinner, and I know the Lord is pleased now that I've changed my ways and, and I'm on his team because I was not on his team for so long.